African Infotainment TV. Wow, wow, African Infotainment TV. Greetings and shalom, nice and decent viewers out there. My name is Son of O'Brien and doing it all for Baobab TV. I have a special guest right here with me and I want to chit chat with her. Tell the viewers who basically is Mfosi. Yeah, when we say Mfosi, who are you basically on what kind of music do you represent? Oh my word, <laughs> um, I'm a very simple person, but when it comes to music, I would definitely say, if you picture a Beetle car, that's me, small with a big engine. <laughs> I think more than anything, God has given me a big heart. And um, I, I feel people's pain. I, I've been through a lot in my life. I, I feel about um, Africa. I, I just, I'm just a young person that wants to say, to say a lot about so many things from relationship, love, uh, nature, um, the journey of life, God. And, 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 and everything. This is the story of a black child. Black generations always blame the ones before. And just church mice on that lost bed of rice. Joy, smile, pleasure. Never soak her emotions. I pass my horizon to like jungle in the jungle. Hey. I'm a misfit kid, queen of misrule. I wear my father's belt. Oh, it is for a walk stick. Said my just for a sway. But the bug of words is hard to break. Standing heavy on every summer day. Combine the different genre, yeah. I don't know if to call it one time pop or if to call it African roots, mm -hmm. but basically, throw a light on that, you know, what is your musical presentation or message like? Mm -hmm. And again, tell us where you're coming from. Yeah. That is very important. Yeah. Okay, I would say my music right now, uh, the start of my music was definitely very African because I grew up in a traditional home, my mom being a Sangoma, a traditional healer. So I was very rooted into that type of music. I used to grow up beating the drum and everything. But as I grew up, I I. I taught the world I discovered that there's so much more and so right now as I'm sitting here my, my music is more soulful with funk um, funk is is coming from blues as well which is your old way of, of, of music back in the days when African people were enslaved that's where blues was which we can call it a call and response type of music so if I say hey you say hey back you know call and response it used to be fun it kept them going so if the other people are busy with uh, 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 whatever they're doing they sing to the other guys the other side and music kept them going so music is that music will always be that it's it just grows and evolves as 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 we all do as humans take me home home
I grew up um, in in a very small home with my mom, as I said, as a Sangoma. A very beautiful environment, I'm not going to lie, as a child. I never saw anything wrong with it. Of course, up until you grow up and you see that things are not really, you know, go right or whatever. So that's the environment I grew up in. Um, I think... I, I will always be a soulful person. It doesn't matter if I, I I put reggae in the rhythm. It doesn't matter if I put funk. If It doesn't matter if I put tradition. But the soul will always be there because of, of the heart that I have and also the, the way I grew up. <laughs> final message to the to the people out there i don't even know where to even take it from but i'm filled with conscious message yeah but give a good message to the people out to there. the people out there whatever wherever you find yourself whatever you're doing never give up that's my motto dust yourself lift your head up high try it again do it again and never ever give up Wir sind hier am Urban Loritzplatz vor der Hauptbücherei und haben soeben die Tanzperformance Hood on Dance gesehen. Wir zeigen euch Ausschnitte von der Performance und haben außerdem mit dem Initiator Samuel Ecke gesprochen. We are here now sitting with the with the organizer or with the initiator uh, of Food and on Dance, uh, Samuel Ecke. Can you please introduce yourself uh, to, to our peers? Okay. My name is Samuel Ecke. I'm a dance artist from Nigeria. And yeah, I was born in Lagos and spent most of my time in Lagos. I started to dance. First, I was playing basketball professionally. Then I got an injury on my left shoulder and I had like a six months vacation. And within the six months, I was so bored not to just stay at home. And then I saw a dance performance and I really love what they did. What motivated me to do Hood on Dance was because I realized, yeah, I, for me personally, I have seen different kind of, I've lived in different society and my part of living in where I, in Nigeria we call like the ghetto, I discovered that in the ghetto there, there is really great, amazing talents. 
but these talents are not um, being seen, neither are they being heard because they don't know how to even take these talents to put it in practice and to take it out there. So then I thought of, okay, why can't I use my own creativity? Because then I got a scholarship to go to Senegal to study. I got a scholarship also to come here in Vienna with the dancewear program to study also. So I felt, okay, if I could get a scholarship, which means people gave me this free, I could also give free to this society. Why I focus on refugees was because the refugees, the immigrants, they are not really like being voiced out and I thought of something that I could do. Then I channeled it to dedicate this, this edition of Hood on Dance to refugees and also to immigrants. Dancing is something more or less silent, but how can you really express yourself by dancing? Yeah, I think well, that is a good question. We all dance, we all express ourselves in different ways, but uh, most times we are not aware of this action. So dancing and expressing yourself is when you're aware of what you want to do. You have um, if an objection in your mind, okay, this is what I want to say. Then you try to put it into movement and you tr start to dance it and your whole body tries to interpret this message to the audience. What will we expect from you in the future? Yeah, in the future I really hope to continue this project also here in Vienna and also to take it around because who don't dance is generally for not just for one particular society, but for everywhere. Thank you very much. Um, we wish you luck um, and success for your upcoming projects and hope to see more from you. Vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Mehr Informationen über Baobab finden Sie unter www.baobab-tv.com. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bow Bob African Infotainment TV 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 Bow Bob African Infotainment TV